like in a hat mess. <laughs> I took my hair out of my clip and yeah, it's 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 having a Monday and I'm here working from home. I have a few things going on today where I'm helping uh, translate and then I should have the rest of the day to myself, which is always wonderful, I will say. Do this. If you hear my laundry in the background, it's I gotta wash the last of my sheets. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't think this looks any better. Honestly, it is what it is. Hi, my name is Brenda. I live here in Coffee, cloudy, sunny San Francisco. And um, I work here as a paralegal. I live with my little fur baby. So this week, what I really want to do is kind of, I had a whole idea in my head of what I was going to do with this week and I blinked out. I guess the theme is getting things done once again there was something up here and it just disappeared it is gonna be a work week i have a few chores so i think my house is not in a horrible state i think it's okay but i should get it more organized especially the kitchen i feel like the kitchen is always a hot mess but like right now it's not that it's a hot mess like there is some things that just need to be thrown away unfortunately i missed the garbage day for last week so i had to wait and so today should be a good day to take out my garbage i also have to take advantage of monday through wednesday so there's been like a few changes at work and which means like my thursdays and fridays are just not my most productive days with my job we we had a lot of turnover for my team and we hired new people which is always fantastic however one of the new people hasn't had that much experience overall like they went to school they graduated they passed a bar and then they never practiced law and they didn't have any sort of i don't want to say work like they had side projects but like like you know your corporate kind of job no nine to five for over 10 years and now they're coming in so they're kind of like you know freshly coming into the job and they are not very technology savvy i i'm in the office with them on these two days so i spend a lot of that time helping them out also helping them with like overall how to do stuff legally which kind of has reinforced in me like Maybe, because before I used to be like, oh, I don't get the whole chill paralegal meme that's out there. There's been so many moments where she, she's just panicking. And then I'm just like, dude, why are we panicking? It's literally not a big deal. Like, you're fine. Like, this is, you're good. You're good. Like, this is not a big deal. Relax. And I think it's also personality wise where like for me things might not be like I am a person I do have anxiety and I do tend to panic for things but I think there are certain things that I don't panic about because I already know the systems and I'm like oh that's fine that's not a big deal like we can fix it meanwhile for her the way she reacts to things it seems like it's a big deal like everything is just like big 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 deal so that just means i spend a lot of time on my thursdays and fridays trying to like help walk her through things and try to reassure her that everything is fine i like to believe i'm a very patient person however it has come to my attention for me personally like no one has said this it's just me observing myself where i'm like oh i do have a limit to my patience and it really, I always feel bad because I'm like, I have I feel like I'm reaching capacity on my patients. So I think now I'm just trying to do everything, like all of my work, as much as like the high priority things from Monday through Wednesday. And then that way on Thursday and Friday, I can have as much time available to just fill in. I'm spending just so much time being tech support and sharing my knowledge, which is always great, but I'm like, I'm essentially teaching people how to how to lawyer <laughs> or like how to do legal work and it's been taking a lot of my time. I'm done with work and I realized that um my printer still has black ink. I'm gonna locate some extra like paper because, let me show you. Here, these are the 
dossier, dossier, whatever, little thingamabobs, perfumes. This is all of the wrapping that came to hold two of these. And when I opened one of them was already kind of shaken up a little bit. So my concern with this is like that they'll break on the way over there and then guess who's liable for it. Um, so I'm gonna go and look for more newspaper and I'm sorry if you can see hear the seagulls. They are going nuts right now. I have no idea why. They're right in front of my window. But anyways, I need to find a way where I can put this in here and hope that they don't break. I'm gonna go into my target box that's just been sitting there. I will eventually get to do what I'm supposed to with it. What the fuck is going on with the seagulls? That can't be normal. They're just like yapping. I've never heard them just bird calling so much until today. When they arrived, I think I took a video on my phone, but like the perfumes were no longer in their container because this is what it looks like. When this arrived, not this one, this one actually arrived in this condition, but the other ones arrived like all like not in the box. And so I want to make sure that when I return them, they arrive in like good good conditions look at what i found instead there is paper in there but i just realized that i would have to move the box and i don't want to do that so i am really trying to make sure that this all gets like mega like buffered out so it just swear. the way that they packed it was i don't know for a perfume company they packed it horribly. It says on your thing that you gotta put this in here. I'm gonna show it to you. This is what it looks like on the inside. You hear that? It's not too much shaky shaky going on. There is some shaky shaky. But I'm hoping, you know, they don't pop, they don't move. Pack it up. The slip is in there. So they cannot say that I did not do it. I got my, my big old cape. Not very eco-friendly, I know, but this thing will make sure that the box stays intact, especially the way I pack these things up. A good base down for you, so that they can't put anything like, oh my gosh, you didn't tape it properly and you got damaged during return shipping or something, I don't know. We are taking off my personal address sorry you hear that i don't think that sucker's going anywhere fortunately hosher has been stuck in my head since his new song came out it's been playing in my head non-stop living rent free absolutely just like my dog i'm gonna drop this off because i also need stamps so i want to go buy stamps as well also i don't know if my voice sounds a little better but <laughs> because the DJI Osmo Pocket does not have a microphone holder and all the adapters I've seen would require me to use my phone, that seems unnecessary. So I just been either holding this or um, setting it on the table and hoping for the best. So if the audio comes out all weird, it's on me because I'm I'm really really trying here to improve my audio also bedroom is now a mess I did bring out my printer so I can print out my mail and that's how I found out my printer is low on like color ink but it is completely fine on blank ink so I need to purchase more color ink and I was gonna do that but I forgot right now I also have no idea I should look it is in my apartment I just I know I put it somewhere I, I either put it away in a safe place or I put it in my drawers somewhere but I need to find my business card. Uh, my job gave us gave some of us a physical card and I remember when I went to Alaska because it used to live in my wallet I took it out because I was like if I get like if my wallet gets stolen I don't want my works credit card to get stolen not like there's a lot of money on there but like somebody can still have like a nice little shopping trip on me so I have no idea where it is I know it's in the house because I took it purposely out of the wallet 
So it's somewhere here. I did start reading my uh, Dinosaur in a Haystack book, which is very different for me. I tend to stick to fiction books and um, recently, yeah, there, there's like, you know, some smut. I'm not big on smut. I unpopular opinion. Like there are certain, I am a girl, I'm a girly that likes a plot. I love stories that have plots. Like you can't tell me a story that does not have a plot or the plot doesn't make sense because like I am not going to judge you on your grammat, you know, grammatical errors or anything like that. But if your story doesn't have a plot that catches my attention, I'm not buying it. It's just not going to be my thing. And so smut, a lot of the ones that have been recommended like on TikTok by my friends, like some of them just don't have a plot. So I'm like, I'm not interested because I'm more interested in having a plot. Yeah, so I like fiction. I like mystery. Oh, I love myself a good mystery. Obviously, I had a little mental breakdown when I read The Sun. Had a mental breakdown because that storyline was just like, oh, you know, do not, <laughs> do not recommend that book at all. Dinosaur in a Haystack would be like my first non-fictional book that wasn't assigned to me to read. Right now, what I'm going to do is a uh, take this envelope, drop it off at the mailbox, just so that I don't forget it. Alrighty. Just got back from the store. Secured the goods. Obviously, I got myself a Sony for fun. Um, so I just got back from the store. I um, decided I wanted to go and get like a snack. I was gonna get a TV dinner and then I was like, that store will also have like, I need some jalapenos and it should have it and then I can get a snack and whatever. So I was like, I'll, I'll just go to like the closest store. But then I was like, ooh, some bread would be nice. Some Mexican bread. So. I ended up going to a different store. Uh, I also got myself some alfajores because they just look tasty. I got myself some Doritos because I learned this from somebody else that likes to eat them with the kimchi. Oh no, tastes good to me. Um, and then jalapenos. Good morning. I honestly, I know I said, I know I said I would go to the grocery store, however, uh, and I, I did wake up on time. I literally couldn't leave right now. I am just so lazy. I did like scroll through my Pinterest because I do have some like meals saved and I was like, ooh, maybe I should make some chili because it's, it's really weird. Spring hit us. It was hot for a few days. Then it was raining, but still hot for a few days. And by raining, I mean raining like intermittently while it was sunny outside. And now we've gone back to like really cold weather. It's not as toasty as it used to be. And it's supposed to rain. So that just answered my question. I should go get groceries. Yeah, because I know you that well. Who else argues with their dog? Just me. Got back from the Trader Ho's and she locked me out of my own apartment. But we went to the Trader Ho's and got some ingredients, which I just realized like, wow, I bought way too much stuff to be making soup this week. They didn't have any broth except for beef broth, which is not what I needed. And then other than that, they didn't have any other, like in that section where they, in my store where they have the beef or like the broths, there was just nothing there. So that was the only thing we didn't get, but we got a whole bunch of stuff to make soups and becky locked me out of my apartment did i say that she locked me out of my apartment had two giant bags of groceries couldn't even open the door it's getting to the point where she's just i'm gonna have to get rid of that mat in the doorway even though i don't want to but it's gonna be my only choice at this point or get like a really heavy 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 one that she can't lift off the ground she uses that mat to lock me out every single time and it's getting it's frankly starting to get on my nerves. So she might win this battle. I might just get rid of the mat. It's already kind of crusty too, so. Mm. Okay, there, there's one thing I bought. Watermelon, which my friend last time she came, she brought over some watermelon, but she rationed it out and she was keeping an eye on how much I was intaking. I'm not like deathly allergic to it, but I am watermelon is my dairy to my lactose intolerant i mean yeah last time my throat got a little itchy but you know <laughs> moderation
Okay, I made it just in time. We gotta shred the chicken. Yeah, so I'm gonna shred it and then I am gonna grab the biscuits because we are making chicken dumplings. We're gonna, chicken dumpling soup. We're gonna see how it works out. I've never made it. and in this recipe it says to cut them in fourths but I figured that the balls would come in two. Oh god okay so it said to cut in fours but I figured that you know the biscuit would be that is also inappropriate um, I decided to cut it in six and um, as I was like throwing them in it was they were getting kind of inflated a lot so I can only imagine what they would look like if I had them fourths Maybe I should have done like eights, but it just six was like really easy. They're not all the same size. Whatever, now I have leftover biscuits because it, it said to put the whole can in there, but to be honest, like I just, I don't want it to be super doughy. I checked right now on the, whatchamacallit, on the biscuits and they are severely undercooked. Like I even had to check online. I was like, did I do this right? I think I messed up somewhere, um, but I just think I should have made them a little bit smaller. Um, just note to self in the future. I have decided one of my kitchen's a hot mess. Once again, I just cleaned. It feels like I just cleaned. Um, but after much consideration, we are calling it quits on the dumplings. I put it in again. I just don't think the, um, the pot gets hot enough for the dumpling, the biscuits to fully cook. At least that's what I was reading online. Like you have to make sure that your soup is hot enough and I don't think I'm gonna try and even do it. So I took out as much dough as I could, which is like pretty much everything except for like two pieces of like the dough balls that actually fully cooked. So we're gonna, I guess we're gonna probably heat up some biscuits and like call it a day. <laughs> there it is. I think I got a little too excited with the um with the salt at the end. That biscuit was definitely not cooked. Oops. The muffin, the biscuits are done. This is what they look like. Um, I mean, at least they're cooked, right? So I feel like now that they're cooked, maybe I can pop them into the soup. <laughs> but it does not look as appetizing. We're gonna dump this back into the, the pot. sweet at work there wasn't that many snacks in the morning this was my fault i left it out no wonder she's hiding from me because she knows she did something bad but this is my fault oh to becky what'd you do before i change out of this was the out why does it always look so much more horrible on camera but i wore a turtleneck and then skirt obviously not these flops but it looks better in person i promise i'm also sorry about my mascara it's the end of the day you know i'm gonna take off the makeup eventually but i just wanted to take a video before i go and take put off my pajamas because my stomach is i think it's a tight underneath i need to buy new tights but that will come at a later time <music> Okay, so I just finished cleaning the machine. Uh, I'm just waiting to make sure that the machine is actually like 
working because every time I put it back I guess I put it too close to the back of, of the wall and like the water can't get through um, oh, it is sounding kind of weird um, today I did use this uh, to help descale it while I was waiting for everything to happen I was reading not, not one of the books that I bought like recently one of the books I bought in a while ago on my Kindle and now that my iPad is designated for my Kindle, it does use up a lot of battery as a downside. But I took advantage, sorry, putting my book thing back. I took advantage to read it. And I like the characters because they're like, well, the girl character, she's kind of like, like a little bit of a brat, very, very witty. I really like witty characters. But like I was like, oh, we went from like, oh, this is kind of like flirty and adorable to like, like actual just in, in the sense of like, you know, people, you know, pew pew. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I need to go to bed. I had plans for today. They didn't get done. So we're just going to have to postpone them for tomorrow. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I know I didn't do much, but I'm going to just end the block here for this one. I don't think I fulfilled getting things done. I did get some things done, but I didn't get everything that I wanted done. So I'm just going to start a new block tomorrow for the weekend. It is a long weekend, three days, and I usually like to start my blogs on Friday after work. So we will start our blog Friday after work. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.